that advanced civilizations have in the past or may in the present try or have tried to uh, contact us, to survey us, to uh, watch us. We cannot rule that out. 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 Rule that out. Yesterday was National Wedding Bob Day when everyone got everything backwards, but it's forgotten to finish. No, I knew I should never have let yesterday happen. But he never finished what he was going to say. Be two or not be two. Barry had time to see that he too was moving back. Oh, that wasn't bully, said Jamie. It wasn't. It was Jojo Help, the disappearing odd job man of Cuckoo Bell. Only he wasn't disappearing. Oh, hey, what's the matter, Jojo? asked Mr. Boo. I can't get home to be dinner, explained Jojo. It'll all be going cold, explained Jojo. It'll all be going cold. <laughs> And Jamie followed the others to Mr. Boo's submachine, leaving Jojo bouncing up and down on the spot. Within a matter of moments, Mr. Boo had the periscope down and the brolly prop up. The engine started, and the submachine rose steadily into the air. Inside, Mr. Boo was saying, I want to talk to Welly Bob about all this, so I've set the controls to fly away from his house. In that case, we'll probably arrive the day before yesterday. But Mr. Boo was quite right. The submachine seemed to have been affected by National Welly Bob there as well, and it was flying steadily backwards towards Welly Bob's home. I think we're almost there, Jimmy, said Mr. Boo. The indicator says we're going up. Time, boy, to land on your head, then, said Wordsworth. Mr. Boo knew what he was doing, though. The submachine touched down safely. Good, said the old man. Now then, Jamie, take a look for Welly Bob's house. I think, said Jamie, popping out from behind the periscope, I think I've already found it. Hmm, yes, that must be Welly Bob's. I don't know anyone else who has all the furniture outside. There's a stove and... Yes, there's his house. Well done, my boy, well done. Is there any sign of Willie Bob himself?